This question comes to me from a real estate appraiser, which is a little bit out of the norm from the questions I typically get. He says he needs a program to draw a floor plan and calculate gross living area. He doesn't need a full-blown architectural package. He doesn't need to do elevations or sections, walls, doors, nothing, just floor plans and square footage. Well, I got to thinking outside the box, and we do have an application that just might fit his needs. Autodesk Home Styler might be the perfect solution. Uh, it's a web-based application and it's free. And it allows you to just get in in a really easy, user-friendly environment, get in here and design your dream home. So to get started, the first thing you wanna do is sign in. By signing in and creating an account, you can actually save and share the designs that you create. Now as I continue into a new project, I'm going to stay off topic of the initial question for a minute and just give you a quick overview of how HomeStyler works. Then I'll show how you can get the square footage. So when you start a new project, you can start from scratch or you can use one of the designs from the design gallery. So here they are. You can easily view these um, in kind of just a viewer environment or you can copy them and make modifications. So let's go ahead and grab one of these designs. We have a nursery here and we'll modify that nursery by making a copy and bringing it into our own design environment. All right, with that, you can see that the file is opened in a plan view. I can easily switch to a 3D view, which gives me a little more visual context about this particular design. We have navigation tools that we can use to rotate around the design. We can zoom in and out. And then, of course, we can start selecting and making changes to components of this particular space. Let's take this wall for example. If I select the wall and go to Info, I can change it from this uh, celery color to a different finish, wallpaper, brick, stone, wood panels, those sort of materials. So we'll switch this to brick and just close out of the Info or the properties of that wall and we can now see how that looks in the space. I can make the same sort of change for the other walls, the floor, the baseboard, the windows, the doors. I can also get into the furniture. I can change the material for the furniture, the size, the style of the furniture, all from right here by selecting the item. So I'll switch to a mahogany dresser instead of the white. So you can make these sort of changes in the 3D view. You can also switch to a plan view. You can grab walls and adjust the size of the room and you get visual dimensions to help you make that change. You can move the furniture around. You can delete and put new furniture in. And of course, we can move doors, windows, add new doors, add, remove windows. You know, the whole interface is very easy, very intuitive to use. And of course, when you finish your design, you can share it via Facebook or Twitter or the other online uh, sites. You can also save the design here in homestyler.com or you can export it to a DWG or an image. So that basically concludes my quick tour of homestyler.com. Let's go ahead now and answer this uh, real estate appraiser's question. When you start a new project, you can switch to the rooms, walls, and areas category and you can grab a floor area tool. Drag and drop it into the blank grid working environment and then just grab the edges to adjust the size of that particular space. Now we can grab additional floor areas and just stack them next to each other to start to create the entire floor plan of the home. Um, and you can drag those edges. We know that not all areas are going to be rectangular. So if you pick a particular edge, you can round it out. You can add splits and breaks and round those sections or um, add angled portions to it. So you have a lot of manipulation tools to change it from that basic square rectangle when you first drag it in. Now I'll go ahead and just make some adjustments to this one here to show you some of those tools. But while I do that, I want to mention that these floor areas are basically that. They're a floor area. There's no finished material. There's no walls. There's no doors. It's just representing the general layout of our building and once we have that in I'll show you how to get those area calculations. Now just for fun I'm going to go ahead and select a couple of these floor areas and give them names that might help you keep track of the spaces as you're putting together the different components that make up those rooms. Alright so we've got the living room kitchen and we'll go ahead and make this one dining. And with that, let's check our uh, area calculations. To do that, we go to the shopping list drop down. This gives us an itemized product list of everything that exists in our design. 
Now because all we have is floors, we just get a floor area calculation takeoff for the entire space. That's the easiest way to get what this real estate appraiser is looking for. Now you'll notice when I add an additional space and then go back to our shopping list and look at that list, then my area calculation has increased. I'll also show you real quick how to add a freeform floor area, which allows us to just draw lines in any shape here. And that will create a floor area as well, rather than starting from the squares and rectangles that I showed you earlier. Now once I get this one in, I get the general shape, I hit escape, it creates a floor, and then we can go back to our shopping list and now see that overall increase to our floor area. Now don't let the natural maple hardwood throw you off, that's just the default material that gets assigned to floors. Alright, so that should give this real estate appraiser exactly what he needs in a free web-based environment. I want to show you one more thing before we wrap this up, and I started a new project to do it. This time, rather than grabbing a floor area, I'm going to actually grab a room. A room has materials assigned to it and it has wall components as well. With rooms, we can add on these additional shapes that kind of snap to the rooms for you. So here's a closet and a bay window out the front. And then I can start adding things like walls, doors, and windows. So let's go ahead and grab a closet door of a particular style. I can change the size of it before I bring it in. And it's just drag and drop to add that additional door to my design. So the point of showing you this process is twofold. One, for those of you that watched the overview at the beginning, this is how a project gets started. Pulling in the rooms, adjusting the size, putting doors and windows, and then furniture in. Also, it shows for this uh, real estate appraiser that you don't have to just work with floor areas. You can actually work with geometry and create nicer looking floor plans and still get those area calculations that you need for the floors of the building or of the home. All right, so I've put a couple doors in, and if I go to my shopping list now, I see all of the components in the design, including the doors and the baseboard, but I also get that floor surface square footage takeoff. Now, what if you had multiple finishes on your floors? Let's go ahead and change this main area from a hardwood to something else. Let's try a, let's switch to a carpet. So I'll go ahead and hit the drop down here for the floor treatment. We'll grab carpet. You'll find there's a bunch of different carpet types here, and you can hit the drop down to get into even more types. But I've switched to this yellow green looking carpet, and when I go back to my shopping list now, rather than one floor area takeoff, I'm going to see two one for the carpet and one for the hardwood. And so you would have to add both of those up to get a total for this particular project. So with that, you've seen how homestyler.com is going to allow you to create your dream home and share it with others. Or if you're a real estate appraiser, it's going to allow you to get those area takeoffs that you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching. And if you need additional information, you can visit any of the following resources.